like you all just see, two stag beetles are fighting to win female beetle, wait, but please note that this is the most expensive beetle on the planet, now let's learn about this beetle with me. Stag beetles are one of the most spectacular insects in the United Kingdom. The male ants' large jaws look just like the antlers of a stag. They spend most of their life underground as larvae, only emerging for a few weeks in the summer to find a mate and reproduce. Stag beetles and their larvae are quite harmless and are a joy to watch. A stag beetle's head and thorax, middle section, are shiny black and their wing cases are chestnut brown. Male beetles appear to have huge antlers. They are actually oversized mandibles, used in courtship displays and to wrestle other male beetles. Adult males vary in size from 35 mm 75 mm long and tend to be seen flying at dusk in the summer looking for a mate. Female beetles are smaller at between 30 to 50 mm long, with smaller mandibles. They are often seen on the ground looking for somewhere to lay their eggs. Currently, stag beetles are kept as a pet in-house, many people also spend a lot of money to own this pet. So now they are considered one of the most expensive beetle on the planet. A fully grown stag beetle larva, grub, can be up to 110 mm long. They're fairly smooth skinned, have orange head and legs and brown jaws. They are nearly always found below ground and can be as deep as half a meter down. Stag beetles live in woodland edges, hedgerows, traditional orchards, parks and gardens throughout Western Europe including Britain, but not Ireland. Stag beetles are relatively widespread in southern England and live in the Severn Valley and coastal areas of the southwest. Elsewhere in Britain they are extremely rare or even extinct. Female stag beetles prefer light soils which are easier to dig down into and lay their eggs. Newly emerging adults also have to dig their way up through the soil to reach the surface, therefore areas like the north and south, which are chalky, to have very few stag beetles. They also prefer areas which have the highest average air temperatures and lowest rainfall throughout the year. Larvae feed on decaying wood under the ground. Adults can tea feed on solid food they rely on the fat reserves built up whilst developing as a larva. They can use their feathery tongue to drink from sap runs and fallen soft fruit. Predators such as cats, foxes, crows, kestrels and others tend to strike at the most vulnerable stage in the beetle's life cycle, when adults are seeking to mate and lay eggs. Though this is largely natural predation, the rise in the numbers of magpies and carrion crows in the last decade may be having an impact on stag beetle populations.
stag beetles are legally protected from sale in the UK. They are also classed as a priority species, listed on Schedule 5 of the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. If stag beetles or their larvae are known or thought to be present at a site where an application for planning has been submitted, and are likely to be disturbed or destroyed whilst work is carried out at the site, it's recommended that someone with an understanding of the insect's requirements be present to see that any larvae or adults are carefully translocated to a suitable natural or purpose-built habitat close by. These magnificent beetles are red-listed in many European countries and have undergone a decline across Europe. They have gone extinct in Denmark and Latvia, although there has been a successful reintroduction into one site in Denmark in 2013.